every single Monday I've really been on top of it I thought this week I would do something like a little bit different I'm usually the one just vlogging like the biggest events whether it's traveling hanging out with friends like doing activities I thought this week I would just do like a normal week in my life like I have an everyday job like I I'm just a normal gal so I thought I would just take you guys along the week with me yes there's still like a lot happening this week but still I want to bring you guys along my everyday life. Today is just an average Monday. Woke up at 5.15 for 5.45 cycle. I'm officially a cycle bar member and I've been obsessed with it. Like if you guys don't know, it's one of my favorite ways to work out. I feel like I talk about it all the time, but I just kind of fell off my normal like weightlifting routine. I feel like coming to a new city, like running was kind of difficult for me to find an area to run safely. So cycle bar has just been like my comfort place and so far, I've been really happy with it especially like going into summer like I'm trying to do more cardio naturally and I'm feeling a lot better because I was kind of in a little bit of a rut there fell out of like my grind but I'm back enough talking I actually have to go because I've been like almost late every single class I'm always pulling up like three minutes before the class and that is not good so let's go have a good Monday workout I always just show up in my slippers and then change into my cycle shoes there for work I'm trying to drink a whole one of these with my breakfast in the morning I hope you guys were able to see like a little glimpse into my actual morning routine when I have to work most of the time again I'm vlogging on the weekends like it's very casual no my weekday step by step like in the morning if I don't then I'm gonna be late I try to leave the house by 8 a.m. I don't really start work till like 9 but I just try to get in early so yeah I'm going to eat my breakfast go to work and I, I'll see what I get this week. I'm not gonna vlog at work. That's boring. That's weird, but I'll see you guys around Okay, we are ready for our first day of school. <laughs> that's what it feels like got the bag packed water coffee to go Lipstick is finally on after breakfast and then I'm just wearing Nikes very grateful My job isn't like too crazy fancy. I don't have to wear like heels or a blazer every day You just have to look presentable. So off we go. Happy Monday. It is quite the bit later. We had an entire work day. Monday was good, but I'm now headed to a 7 p.m. like salsa class. Miami is taking over. I've been going with my friend Annabella. I've been going. This is only our second class, but we're trying to do it like maybe every other week or so. Trying to tap into my Latin roots, you know, learn the culture, learn how to dance like a Latina, because honestly, 
not the best I will be honest but it is a little bit of a drive away it's like 30 minutes nothing crazy but I'm excited because last time I did salsa but today is salsa and bachata so it's a half and half class and it's a just a good way to get out of the house do something different and hang out with friends I don't know how much I'm going to get on the vlog I want to try I do because it's really fun so we shall see we're like five minutes away and one Two, three, four. Here we go. You got it now. You got it? Five, six, seven, go. Seven, five, six, seven, go. I'm so proud of us. Hey everyone, we're back. We're killing it. We've been doing so good. This is our second time only, but. I know, I said in the vlog, I was like, we've been going. I said, well, not really. Yeah, only our second class. We did salsa and today was so good. Oh, I think we did way better than last time. No, yeah. This time flowed so much better and everyone else was pretty good too. Mm -hmm. except, except for a few. few of them except for that one back. guy. That one guy. Yeah. Yeah. And there's this one old guy that's just super weird and just is yeah, like, I don't drives like a buggy vibes. and like comes to class <laughs> we four see hours a day. Ugh, just like, I don't like it's it. Okay. He also thinks he's like the hottest shit ever. Yeah, he goes... <laughs> Like the arms, did you see the instructor was making fun of him? Yeah, he was like, oh, yeah oh, oh, oh. the instructor was literally like, are you an octopus? Like what is up, dude? <laughs> I love it. We're gonna keep hopefully coming back. Yeah, hopefully. Also, I'm proud of us. We, we're doing so bad at seeing each other, but now we're seeing each other like three or four times this week. So. Yeah, we saw each other Friday, Yeah. today, Monday. Wednesday and then this Friday coming up too. There's so, so much four happening. Times in one week. I'm proud Literally of us. the most in the four months you've lived here. Yeah, we're gonna keep it up. <gasps> okay. Hey. I see you so soon. See ya. <laughs> You're good at vlogging. What the heck? Okay, guys, it is actually we skipped a day. It is now Wednesday. Yesterday, I don't know. I it was just like a normal day. I didn't do much. And like mentally, I was just like in a bad mood. So I just didn't want to pick up the camera. But again, I like get mad at myself because I should have picked up the camera because that's so normal like people have bad days people are upset or just like in emotional moods and that was me yesterday so that is the reality and of course I just naturally did not want to pick up the camera but I don't want you to think my life is perfect like yesterday was not a good day for me even though there was like some stuff I could have vlogged like at work you like I went to a showing I went to show a house it was like my boss's birthday we went and like got some drinks for him for his birthday I could have vlogged a few things but at the same time I was in a bad mood. Well, I was in like a good mood like the first half of the day and like the second half, like four and on, I was just like, I want to be alone. I want to sit on my couch and I just want to rot. So that's, that was me yesterday. It is now Wednesday and we are headed back to Miami. I have been going to Miami more often lately. I don't know. I've been having things to do. I've been trying to push myself to do more activities, especially like during the week. I don't want to be the type of person that lives only for the weekends. Like I'm trying to do something every single day that makes me happy, whether that be as little as doing a fun workout class or watching uh, the Kardashians with my friends, drinking wine, or freaking going to a Marlins baseball game. That is where I'm headed right now, Miami Marlins baseball game. Never been. Sorry if you're a fan, I heard they suck, but they're playing the Tampa Bay Rays, which is of course another Florida team, so rivals. And apparently, Will Smith and Mor Martin Lawrence, I think his name is, they're doing like a whole bunch of promo for the new Bad Boys movie. So they're gonna be at the game, like the whole game is basically surrounded by them promoting the movie. If you guys don't know, I feel like I've definitely talked about it before and anyone in my like actual life knows I am obsessed with Will Smith. This is very controversial in this day and age to say. I love him and Chris Rock, okay? <laughs> I fell in love with Will Smith and Hitch when I was a wee little girl and he's just like one of my favorite actors. Like any movie he's in, I will watch just because he's in it and I know he's amazing. He's an amazing actor. So I'm literally freaking out. I've talked about it for the past week since I got tickets. I went straight from work. Hopefully the makeup lasts all night. It's not, the, it's not gonna be anything crazy. It's just a baseball game, but it's just been a long day and now I'm going to the baseball game. And we're still about 20 minutes away. Okay, I just parked in the parking garage. It was only $15, surprisingly, for the entire night. Like, why is that cheaper than a beach day? I can't wrap my head around that one. But again, I told you, like, the Miami Marlins are not, like, it's not packed in this parking garage at all. I literally pulled up and got the first spot. Like it's not crowded. I packed some powder because after a full day of work, I have now been wearing this makeup for 10 hours, just about. 
Yeah, I think so. But I just brought some powder to do some touch-ups because your girl, after a whole day, she kind of lasted though, she did good. And then I brought a little baby Valentino, some perfume to smell good. And then unfortunately, I think I forgot all my lip products at the office, so. Oh, just kidding, yay! She is not an idiot. I keep this little pouch in my work bag at all times and it just has like some body butter, hand cream. Oh, I forgot I have another perfume in here. Flower Bomb, forgot I had that. And then mainly just some chapsticks in here, but I do have a lip gloss. Just a clear lip gloss, nothing crazy, but at least it is a lip gloss. Don't sleep on this. I think it is Rimmel London Stay Glossy. I love like the texture of it. I love the Dofa applicator and I love the smell. Like, I don't know if it brings back a certain memory because I've been using this since like middle school. Not this same one, but like, you know what I mean? I'm just obsessed with it. I'm just gonna, I brought my little fanny pack. I'm literally just tossing this in there with my keys and that's it. I'm a little nervous because obviously I didn't think it through like my work bag with my laptop, my AirPods, my camera. I'm leaving it all in the car. But thank God, like I'm in a parking garage. There's a bunch of cops like letting everyone in and out. There were so many opportunities to park like on the street of people's houses and they were like paying people to park there and that sounded sketchy. I have been told this is not the best neighborhood in town. So to definitely pay to park in the parking garage. And again, it was only $15, so I am not mad about it. Annabella and my friend Camila are already inside. I don't have any worries of finding them because like I said, this is not like a Dolphins football game. Like this is gonna be easy to get in. It is 5.49, I was trying to get here at like 5.40, but you know, Miami traffic, you never know. I've only been to one other baseball game and it was the Tampa Bay Rays when I was in like middle school and besides like high school baseball stuff like that so this should be interesting I'm mainly going to find Will Smith and socialize with my friends but go Miami Marlins I guess football girl now baseball girl Okay, we have the room set with the night vibes. Excuse the frame that fell, I still have to fix that. But we got home like 30 minutes ago. I'm giving myself like a second of relaxation before I go to bed. I have this little, it's still, yes, a pumpkin candle going. Gym clothes are laid out for cycling tomorrow. I'm gonna probably try to read for at least 20 minutes. Plus it just like gets me sleepy before bed. So I'm currently working on this book. Funny story by Emily Henry, it's her newest one. And I actually have to meet with my book club this weekend, so I really need to finish this. But that was literally so much fun. Tell me how I knew Will Smith and Martin Lawrence were gonna be there, but still seeing them like 200 feet away, I was still so surprised. Will Smith is a fine, fine man. Like I told my friends, I was like, you guys don't understand the crush I have. And then when they saw him like walk out, they were like, I get it. Like he has this like natural swag to him. As cringy as that sounds, like he's just, giving cool also tell me how it's really attractive with how far those baseball men can throw balls like almost like it doesn't even make sense that a human can throw a ball that far everyone's like naya this is not new news i'm just shook throwing the whole field like you're not hitting it with a bat i saw him throw it the entire field and yes football players also do that you guys are talented and i'm just now realizing at the ripe age of 26 like wow it's not just a ball about running and tackling each other or, like hitting a ball the throwing it just you're a superhero. Anyways, that was fully off track. That's just my random thoughts of the night. It's only like 9.45 right now. Like I said, I'm probably gonna read the next 15 minutes. I do try to get in bed at 10. I try my best because I wake up at 5.15 to work out. So I shall see you guys tomorrow. Okay, just got home from a full day of work. I literally just walked through the door, like still in my work clothes. Today is Kardashian. Technically Kardashians come out Wednesday, but I watch it on Thursday because it comes out, I believe, midnight on Wednesday. So it is Kardashian Thursday. I'm actually having one of my friends come over. We're trying to do this like weekly. Like this week it's gonna be at mine. Next week we'll be at hers. A little wine night, a little gals night. Trying to not only like go out with my friends. When you're going out, there's a ton of people, ton of music. You can't really have those like intimate friendship conversations. Just some much needed gal time. Let's be honest, it doesn't happen when you go out. Yes, it's fun. Yes, it's a blast. Do I love doing it? Absolutely. But it's good to have these little wholesome nights in. And with the Kardashians and cookies and wine, 
10 out of 10 night. And on top of all that, my cousin is actually coming to Fort Lauderdale for the very first time. I'm definitely gonna vlog this weekend, but that will be in the next vlog. But she's like 30 minutes out. I'm so excited. She's coming all the way down from Jacksonville, top of Florida to the bottom of Florida. My friend's actually gonna be here in like 10 minutes. I just like vacuumed really fast and ate dinner, but I'm now gonna get in some comfy cozies and then we're gonna crack open the wine, make some cookies and have a little girls night. Like look how clean the house looks. I have all the lights on, the candles on. Probably get the TV ready for the Kardashians. I'm trying to lean into red wine. So Olivia requested some Cabernet and I know my friend is also bringing wine. So we have that. And then, of course, only the best cookies in the entire world, Sweet Lauren's. Carly has never had these, so we're putting everyone in my life on them because they are just the best. They're kind of, they're pretty healthy. One cookie is 120 calories, but it's also like plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut-free, 10 out of 10, amazing. So those are the vibes. Today is Friday and it is a very, very special weekend because yeah! Cole's cousin is in town! It's her first time in Fort Lauderdale. Yes. Are you is. excited? Yes. We're I about am. to party it up. This is the most like fast intro ever. Uber is like one minute away. I wanted to start earlier, but we have to show. I'm so excited to show her Fort Lauderdale, my new city, everything. She's been here all day. She was supposed to come today. She actually ended up coming last night. I was very happy about it. I did, and I'm glad that I came. Yeah, because you had. she had a very relaxing beach day by herself while I worked. <laughs> okay, he's literally outside. We're about to head to dinner, That's and then we're gonna go out, and I'm gonna introduce her to all my friends here, and I'm so excited that there's like a big group of us going, so it should be a fun first night he's here. I love you, and I will be vlogging on my phone. Good morning, I'm in charge of making us breakfast and I've been waiting for someone to come over so I can try this Trader Joe's protein pancake mix. I've heard great things, so we're gonna have ourselves a little feast of a breakfast after last night. Okay, breakfast was so good. Those pancakes, 10 out of 10. Trader Joe's, what do we think? They tasted so good, we put bananas in the mix. Mm-hmm, it's been really good. We were watching Buying London, a new show that Olivia started while I was at work yesterday. Obsessed. Drama. Hot people. What more could you want? The drama definitely seems fake and scripted, but we're loving it. You know, we live for some... Drama that's not in our own lives. Yeah. So what do we think of our first night in Fort Lauderdale? It is very nice. Like, the strip is so insane, and all the restaurants looked amazing, and it was so lively. Like, it's a very lively atmosphere. She felt, she literally said, Little Miami. Yeah, which, Little Miami vibes. Which is what it is. And we, you got to meet all my Fort Lauderdale people. I did. Yeah! Ah! And now we're about to go to the beach. It might be a little overcast. No. What's the weather today in Fort Lauderdale? Good morning, Naya. It's going to rain Currently, later on. That's in Fort Lauderdale, out. Florida, it's 89 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 91 degrees and a low of 78 so we'll degrees. So one of those thunderstorms coming into Fort Lauderdale? It might rain in Fort Lauderdale, Florida today. There's a 61% chance at 12 p.m. Damn. It's like 11.15 right now. Okay, we're ready for the beach. It's really hard for me to imagine like it's summer and we're going to the beach when my house, I keep it at like 69 degrees, but I do that because it's 95 outside. But I'm constantly wearing like winter clothes in my house and I have to remember like outside is different, Naya. Like I'm freezing in my bathing suit right now, but we will be okay in a second. I'm about to make myself a little liquid IV after last night. I feel fine, but I... Just want the extra hydration, especially we did have a, a lot of alcohol last night. I bought so many of these things for when I just went to the UK and I have a bunch left over. So I've just been taking advantage every time after I drink, we're gonna hydrate up. It is in the flavor of passion fruit. To me, it tastes really good. A lot of people are like, it's so salty. That is electrolytes. And I always just tend to try to do it in one go. Pre-workout too, a lot of people like just sip on their pre-workout. I just take it like a big shot. We got home at like, 
1.45 last night, woke up at 9.30. We had a good night's sleep. We did just walk outside and let me show you. Let's show you out the front door. Oh shit, that doesn't look good. Okay, but in Florida, like that can clear up in two seconds. That looks really bad. I think Bia has to go to Ulta, so maybe we'll run a few errands and then by the time we get to the beach, if you don't live in Florida, it's the weirdest thing. Like, you can say it's going to rain, like, 70% today. It could rain for 30 minutes, and then the blue skies come out. And that's genuinely, like, how Florida works every single day. This humidity! So we never believe the weather. But at the same time, like, who wants to go to the beach and just sit in the rain? No one. I have a feeling it'll clear up. Please. The summer thunderstorms are here officially. Like, every day, a thunderstorm. We can expect it. When I tell you... It is monsooning outside right now. I mean it. Scratch everything I just said that it'll rain for 30 minutes. No, I don't see the sky. I don't see the other side of the tunnel. I only see monsoon. So scratch the whole beach today. Unfortunately, I don't think that'll be happening for us. Thank God Olivia went to the beach yesterday while I was at work. Ha 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 ha. Gonna make the best out of it. We're still gonna go run errands in a monsoon and see where the day takes us. I wanna go to that concert so bad. It has to please clear up. Do you really wanna go that bad? Yes, a free Kid Leroy Cup. I must go. We're just bringing you guys along today because neither of us know what the hell is happening. Okay, a few hours later, clearly never made it to the beach. It never cleared up. We did run some errands, went some, did some shopping. We watched a movie and I did in fact take a little bit of a nap. But now, last minute we got ready because the Kid Leroy is performing for free. Keyword, Olivia, for free! Tonight, because Panthers hockey are in the playoffs, so they're going to the Stanley Cup, and I've been like wanting, I found out about this last night, and I've been hinting towards it, towards Via, but I, she's like, eh, eh, and I was like, for free. And it's at six o'clock, like we can be back home by like 7.30, go have a cute dinner, still have a cute night, but a free Kid Leroy concert, like he's about to go on tour. People are about to pay to go see him. We're going for free. And on top of that, I'm obsessed with his girlfriend, if she's there, Tate McRae, I will freak out. Chances are very slim, but I will freak out. I'm very excited. We got ready so freaking fast. It's like 30 minutes away. We're gonna go, hopefully parking's not too crazy. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Again, this was a very last minute plan. They announced it yesterday because I think they were worried about the crowds. And it's also a home game. So it's probably gonna be insane, but we're not gonna tell Via that. I did rush her, but we're going. Via's bringing the drinks that we did not finish yesterday. Combining them into a to-go mug. Okay, we just got back. That was so much fun. We just drove out there for an hour, saw him perform, and came back. One thing I will say. I did not know as many songs as I thought I would, but he did perform like one of his unreleased songs that we're obsessed with, but it's all over TikTok. And him live performing, he is 10 out of 10. His like acoustic, everything is so good. And he's a great performer. Like he just looks so cool up there if I'm being honest. And I do not regret going. It was free, it was fun, and I'm glad we went. We just came back, we sat on my patio, we had a glass of wine, and now we're gonna go get a nice little dinner. We're going to this place that everyone has been telling me I need to go. Apparently they have amazing pizza, 10 out of 10. Last night we did sushi, today is pizza, Bia's, those are Bia's favorite foods. I did plan it accordingly, because I know her very well. I'm just so happy she's here, and I do not want her to leave tomorrow. Like this weekend went so fast. So let's have ourselves a little lovely, like last night we hung out with my friends, and now tonight's a little cousin night. Okay guys, it is now Sunday morning, or I guess Sunday afternoon, it's like one o'clock. Olivia left back home to Jacksonville super early this morning. It was really sad to see her go, but at the same time, we had the best weekend. I feel like I got to show her a lot of really fun things to do down here. She really got like the scoop of my 
South Florida life. And fingers crossed, I think she did fall in love with South Florida. Like, you never know where life can take you. I, I pray to God, like obviously one day we are best friends, we're cousins, we wanna raise our kids together one day. We know we will live near each other again one day. But the sooner, or sooner, or I'd rather sooner, wait, better sooner than later. So my prayers, I don't know, just putting it into the air that you never know what can happen. So when she left, I was just getting a bunch of like my Sunday to-do list done, trying to prep for the week. I finally finished my Scotland vlog, scheduled that to go up tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed those travel vlogs. This was a 30 minute vlog. So I, sent, I spent a lot of time on the computer this morning. But now, last minute, my mom is actually coming into town. She should be here in like an hour. And I wanna make today very special for her because last weekend was actually her birthday and I couldn't go back home because I had just come back from London it was just genuinely I came back oh no first off her birthday fell on a Tuesday so I had work and if I wanted to go celebrate last weekend I got in on Thursday like I it was just too much timing didn't make sense so we're gonna celebrate today and I think I can say like by the time this video comes out I don't think my mom would mind my mom is actually moving back to South Florida if you guys have been watching me for a while she lived here like a year year and a half ago I have definitely a few vlogs visiting her having the South Florida life before I now live here and my unfortunately my grandma did get into an accident so my mom had to move back home to Orlando to take care of her and she's kind of been there ever since and I think with like me now moving to South Florida she was like why am I here she's just it's I don't know how to say it she's not very happy in Orlando and she'd rather live in South Florida near her daughter near you know a job she wants near the beach there's just nothing holding her to Central Florida anymore I get it I get it it just really happened so last minute like I generally she's starting training like that's why she's coming into town. She's starting training tomorrow. She's not staying with me. She's staying with a friend that lives like closer to Miami where the job is. That is where she will be and I'll be in Fort Lauderdale. It's gonna be very cool to be like, hey mom, wanna get lunch? Hey, wanna go see a movie? Hey, wanna have a beach day? We haven't had that in a minute. So that'll be fun. I need to stop blabbering on away. This clip is literally four minutes long. Hopefully I can make it back by the time my mom gets home. I wanna go to Trader Joe's and get just like a few, I wanna get Aperol Spritz maybe some snacks so that we can have ourselves a nice day. Oh, hello you. I haven't been here in so long. Okay, that was very successful. I just got home and my mom's not gonna be here for 10 minutes, so perfect timing. I got everything I wanted at Trader Joe's. I heard that their Aperol Spritz is 10 out of 10, so I wanted to try it, plus I've been obsessed with them to just it's summer. I've been non-stop since it turns like 90 degrees. It is my go-to. Then I wanted to get some crackers and I saw these new strawberry and jalapeno crisps. I love their crisps, but I never tried this one. I'm guessing it's new for the summer. Because shout out my sweet, sweet cousin. She didn't even realize. I saw it and I was like, this is my favorite. She accidentally left this goat cheese, like blueberry goat cheese. And this is my favorite thing ever. So me and my mother will have some of that with some Aperol Spritz. Then I got some tzatziki because we're going to the beach and I thought I could take this with some cucumbers. And then I stopped at Winn-Dixie to get her absolute favorite uh, guava and cheese pastries. I personally don't like these, unfortunately. The Latina in me is very fraudulent. This is very Spanish and I don't like it. But it is my mom's favorite, so I thought this would be cute for her birthday. Maybe I'll light a candle, put it on top, we'll figure it out. Just want to celebrate her birthday. Also, one thing I didn't even mention, my mom's bringing Piper and I have not seen her in a month. My mom took her home a month ago because obviously I went out of the country, I was traveling and I haven't seen her and I miss her so much. And I was just, it was getting prolonged out because I'm going away in two weeks again. I'm going out of town and unfortunately I don't have family that lives here. I don't have a dog sitter or anyone that I trust enough. The only people I do trust with my dog are going with me out of town. And I also, Piper's a bitch and she can't, be with other dogs. She's so mean to other dogs. So it's been a struggle and I haven't seen her in so long. I'm so excited. It's a big reunion all around. I might cry. <laughs> 